Welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. Hi, my name is Norman Meir and I'm a master This instructor. month's soldering tip will be on gold cups soldering. What we'll be using today will be a 96.5% tin, 3% silver, and 0.5% copper. This will be the lead-free solder that we'll be using. We'll also be using a no-clean flux and using some solder wick. And the tip we'll be using is a large hoof tip, as you will notice right here. It is great because we've got a lot of surface area we need to make contact with to get the solder to flow easily. What we'll do is to clean out the hole full of any contamination or anything of that nature dry it out. One of the things you've got to be particular with in accordance with the standards is how much gold is on this. By the standards if there's greater than 2.5 micrometers of gold on this that you need to double tin or double dip it. These are less than 2.5 by the standards so we don't have to double tin it. But if you were, you would actually do the process we're getting ready to do twice. Next thing you're going to do after that is to fill a hole full of solder. Now, this is very easy to do. All you got to do is put solder into the hole like this. Do it again. And it will hold about 3 of the point zero two zero so size solder. You'll notice it's pretty neat is that you will be seeing the center core flux in this picture. Next thing you're going to do is with a small amount of solder you're going to and with a nice clean soldering tip is you're going to go to the back side of the gold cup, a little itself. lip right here and the top of this. If you try to do here in the center somewhere is your best bet. That way if you get too much solder that it won't come out and flow out across the top and then your connection right here to uh, snap it into place for your rings and everything you won't get any build up on there so it will still snap in finally so I try to get right here in the center with a minimal amount of solder. Angle this kind of backwards a little bit so if the solder does get a little heavy it doesn't just drop out of the front you just want to angle just back a little bit next thing you want to do is add a little bit of solder to the end of your tip See that just that's all I need, just that little amount. Because what I'm doing is creating a heat bridge which will reduce my dwell time. So go about center ways. See the solder melt. See the solder melt? Then you come right off. Next thing you want to do is to use your solder wick and remove that solder because that will help in removal of the gold, which you know gold can create gold embrittlement and that's not what we want to do. Now one of the things that you should have noticed or realized was that I didn't use any external flux. All I use is whatever flux is inside the solder because if you get flux down in the hole it could can create a contaminant or an air pocket later on and then you would have a defective product that your customer will not realize until it's out in the field. Again we're getting ready to heat this back up so Apply a little bit of solder to the end of your tip to create that nice little heat bridge. Just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, now what I've done was used a number two solder wick and I've twirled it together so it's easier to get into the hole. Okay, about midway. Get your solder wick ready. Touch up against it, you'll see it melting. Again, go about halfway. Hesitate when you first come in to get that all nice and hot too and watch it suck up into it. Then come off, clip off that little amount that you just used, and then let's come back and make sure it. we got our hole nice and clean. Now my hole is nice and clean, and we need to verify this. So I'm coming in here with my alcohol, using my acid brush to get way down into it to clean it out really well. So now that you see it's nice and clean, twirl up a little bit of your uh, Kim Wipe or wiping material and stick it down in the hole to get all that alcohol out of it. 
There, it's nice Take and look clean. Look at the back side of this. Very little solder. You don't want a lot of solder. Again, if you put a lot of back here, you will not be able to seat this pin properly and it will slide in and out. And that's not what we want to do. Okay, now we've got our pin prepped in.